for three decades, in the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s, Paul Blake shot copious movie films of railroading, mostly in the Northeast. We know very little about Paul. Most of his film in the four videos in this series, was shot right in the crux of dramatic changes in railroading throughout the region. Nearly all of the locomotives and trains seen in this, and subsequent videos, are long gone, but are definitely not forgotten. Join us, to watch a dramatically changing railscape of equipment and paint schemes you may not have seen for decades, and may never see again. We open with trains switching and coming and going at Springfield, Massachusetts, one of New England's most important rail crossroads in the early 1960s. The North-South Line was owned by the venerable old Boston and Albany Railroad, which merged into the New York Central on April 3, 1961. The New Haven Railroad ran south from Springfield to New Haven and New York, while the Boston and Maine Railroad extended the track north along the Connecticut River. Equipment of the three railroads, plus the Central Vermont, could be seen in and around Springfield Union Station. All four railroads are gone today. The Union Station was along the New York Central. A Boston and Maine F unit leaves Springfield. In a moment, it will turn off onto its own B&M track, headed to White River Junction, Vermont, and on to Montreal with the Ambassador. There's no mistaking those big black New York Central F units with lightning stripes as one of the mentors South Station with the New England States from Chicago. Here's something not often seen. The Boston and Maine's unusual low-slung double-ended Talgo train with articulated cars bears down on a station. We skip over to the Boston Hump Yard in the Charlestown section of Boston, where cars are being dropped downgrade. A pair of Maroon Alco RS units was shoving a cut of cars over the hump. Cedar Hill, Connecticut, on the New Haven Railroad, finds three Alco RSs sandwiching a pair of B units, pulling the freight under wires. A great variety of motive power can be seen near the Cedar Hill Roundhouse. Ah, 
It doesn't get much better than this on the Northeast Corridor. In the 1950s, a train is being pulled by an iconic GG1. The fog enhances this shot of Tuscan red P70 coaches, baggage cars, railway post offices, and express cars. With back at Cedar Hill Yard in New Haven, Connecticut, as a switcher handles cars, underwires in a cut, a quartet of Alco FA freight units runs light. A trio of EP5 electric passenger locos are west of the station in New Haven. The one to the right heads for New York with its train. Montreal, under wires, Paul Blake was on the south side of Central Station to shoot this Canadian national train coming through the crossover.